You like my hair? Gee, thanks. Just bought it. Hey there, I'm Wit, and welcome to my channel, Becoming Wit. So if you've been single for a while, it could be pretty easy to begin thinking the absolute worst for your future. You might even begin to make plans for a future of loneliness, depression, sadness. And I'm here to just say that maybe we should just chill. Just like breathe. About a month ago, um, certain cities in California witnessed a butterfly migration. Only when I saw them, I didn't think they were butterflies. I thought they were moths. And I thought these moths were all flying in the same direction to tell us that doom was near. I'm serious. I literally thought all of these moths were symbolic for saying something horrific is coming. And that is what happens when you allow fear and anxiety to rule over your life. I even talked myself into believing that this probably meant that a massive earthquake is coming. Did I mention I live in California? Probably like a lot of Californians, I'm not prepared for a big earthquake. So, on the way home, while I'm watching these moths fly north, I'm thinking I have to get to the grocery store and put together a makeshift earthquake kit. So, right before I got home, I bought water bottles and I bought cans of food and I put them in a bag and I put them in the closet and I'm like, okay, if anything happens, I'm prepared. Because these moths outside, it's meaning something. I even prayed, I was like, Lord Jesus, please let this be a good night, amen. I woke up the next day and obviously nothing had happened. And it wasn't until I got to work that next day where my supervisor asked, did anyone witness the butterfly migration? So of course I played it off and I was just like, yeah, I witnessed the butterfly migration. However, on the inside, I was really, really upset because while everyone was just kind of like enjoying this moment to see beautiful butterflies just like flying all over the cars and in the air um, north to look for more food, I was stressing, thinking that these butterflies were moth trying to tell us that life was over. And in my fear and anxiety, I was preparing for a future of just dread. Instead of just enjoying that moment, that God-given natural moment of watching these creatures fly. I mean, how many times do you see a group of butterflies together flying? Like, that's not very common. And I missed it. I had, even though I saw it all, on the way home, the 20 minutes it took me to get home, I'm seeing these creatures fly over me and I missed it because I was too busy worrying about what it meant and the possible dread that it actually meant. Instead of just seeing it for what it was, just a beautiful moment for God to show us how nature works. And sometimes I'm wondering if I'm doing this with my singleness. Am I stressed too much about what the future may look like just because I'm single now? Um, am I not enjoying this moment? And I, am I not seeing the beauty in it? Am I only worried about what could possibly happen if my single status doesn't change 10 years from now? And honestly, even if it doesn't, that doesn't mean that I go at it with fear and anxiety and just prepare in the most, most over the top, horrific way possible. It means I take one day at a time, and I trust, and I enjoy life, and I do the work that God has put me here to do. God teaches me a lot about singleness through little interactions that I have, um, experiences that I have with life and waiting. Um, and I, as soon as I realized that it was an entire butterfly migration that I missed because I was too focused on what it actually meant in a negative way, I realized I was able to connect it to like how I treat my singleness like that. And so I just wanted to kind of like come on and share and kind of challenge you to rethink how you're looking at this moment in time when you're single. Will it change? Who knows? But I don't think that's for us to spend our moments right now dreading the future, preparing for the worst, expecting the worst. I think our job is just to have faith and enjoy the beauty of life that God has given us 
and not to miss our migration. Um, there is change happening in our lives right now as we speak in this season. We just need to embrace it and see it for what it is and enjoy the flight. So that's all I have for you. I wrote an entire blog post on this topic a few weeks ago when this happened. Um, so you can go ahead and visit me at becomingwit.com. And if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and come back and hang out with me. I'll probably have a lot of other videos like this. Um, Cause like I said, God talks to me a lot through little life experiences and I wanna share it with you. All right, that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. Please come back and visit.